Today, I'm gonna put my cruise reptile knowledge to the test. I've got these gift cards, and I'm gonna hide them in a bunch of enclosures. But here's the thing, they don't know what enclosure it is, and they have to tell me three facts about the animal before they can even get in to search. All set, let's get the crew together. So here's the deal, guys. Mike is actually out today feeling sick, so I'm gonna save one card. Of course, Dairy Queen, specifically for him. You guys are gonna love what I'm gonna do with him. But this is the deal, I have gift cards that are hidden in some enclosures. You go up to those enclosures, and you have to give me three facts about that animal before I allow you to search. You guys ready? Go. Okay, I got one. I got one. Reptar. Ah, yes, yes, it's Waffles. Waffles. Yep. Yeah. Give me him. Okay, he's a two-toed sloth. Yes. He came from Florida. Mm. I mean, you said about him specifically. You I did. did. Come yeah. on. Uh, okay, I'll give it to you. All right. You're the one that takes care of this sloth, aren't you? His favorite thing to eat is yuck root. Okay, go in. Two-toed sloths spend most of their lives hanging upside down from trees. They cannot walk, so they pull hand over hand to move around, which is an extremely slow rate. Which, of course, is why most people think of sloths being slow. Okay. Have you seen it? Being predominantly nocturnal, their fur, which can grow moss on it, actually helps them control their body temperature. So wait, does Drogo have moss on him? In captivity, sloths typically don't grow moss. Okay, I'm done, I give up. That's good, because there was no card in that enclosure. Braculus dactylus, <laughs> all right, that's it, right? That's the right name of it, Braculodactylus. Rachidactylus. A Rachidactylus is his Latin name, all right? Lichianus gecko, they come from Madagascar, right? Nope. They come from New Caledonia, right? Which is a small little island on the coast of Africa? Uh, South America? New Zealand. Close. Close to New Zealand. <laughs> this is a fact for all geckos. On their feet. How do they stick on the walls? One might ask. They have a forest of little hairs, which cause friction known as some German guys, scientists, van der Waals forces. Was I right? Do you know what I'm talking about? Overall, you're right. Go ahead and search. Honestly, I don't think there's anything in here. Lychee but... geckos come from the islands of New Caledonia, and there's tons of different localities. Uh, there's nothing underneath that cup. And depending on those localities, really changes the color and the size of the animal. Some of the GT animals from the main island. There's nothing in the crevasse. Are the largest. Nothing in the bush, nothing in the vase. In particular, the Yeti, no doubt a huge hit here at the Reptarium. There ain't nothing in there. Three facts of reticulated pythons. They are the longest species of snake. They uh, are from Southeast Asia. And this particular one is a tiger reticulated python. Let's go. Yeah. Of course, reticulated pythons are the largest snake on the planet as far as lengthwise, and also can get just as massive as some anacondas, sometimes exceeding 25 foot in length. Don't come that way. Oh, yes, you are gonna be a lot tougher than that. Oh, come on. How am I gonna get in here? These guys come from the Philippines and Indonesia and can come in many different color phases. Butterscotch, of course, is a tiger reticulated python. Oh man, where the heck am I gonna find a gift card in here? Oh my god, I swear if there's a gift card under this poop. Alright. Open there. Butterscotch. Chill, chill out. Don't do that. There you go. I don't think there's anything in here. I have nothing this big snake. Terrence, he's a tegu. They're from Argentina. I just found out they can drop their tail. They can hold their breath underwater for like 20 minutes. I didn't, I didn't even know that. Know that. How? Alright, I gotta find this gift card. I'm trying to get lunch. Terrence, I'll take you out if you want to go. Is it under your water dish? No. Tegus are the largest species of lizard in the continent of South America. Terrence, is the gift card in here? They're actually omnivorous, which basically means they eat both meat and vegetation. Are you hiding that gift card? Mm. I really, really want some food. And one of the things that's really cool about tegus when it comes to pets, they can be housebroken, meaning that you can let them run free in your house if you wanted to, and they will go to the bathroom in the same spot, just like a cat. I don't, I don't think it's in here. It's not. It, there isn't one in here. Again, yeah. So, I'm hungry. Green anacondas. Fact number one, J-Lo's biggest nemesis. I did like that movie. I think that counts. Number two, they're from, let me think, the Amazon. They gotta be the largest water snake in the world. They are the largest body snake in the world for, I'll give it to you, get in there. Give it to me, baby. Cool. Gotta check the top of the tree. Anacondas come from the Amazon. They can come from Peru, Guyana, Brazil, all over the northern part of the Amazon River. Nothing. Sometimes attaining up to 300 pounds. Under the Lord. Nothing. They're live bears and ivy is gravid and should have babies in the next couple months. Kilo! Why'd you do this to me? Load of garbage. This one's vacant. This is so hard. There's four carts and 400 enclosures. How am I gonna find this? 
Jeez. All right, three facts about waffles. Black throat monitor, but it is in the same family or in the same species as a white throat monitor. It's an abigularis. It's from Africa. Uh, and when you open up the cage and he poops and stuff like that, it smells like maple syrup. Bam, three facts. Okay, go for it. So Bruce actually picked a cage that has the card in it. Let's see if he's gonna find it. And of course, that's a black throated monitor. I can't, I can't seem to find them anywhere. It's like he took it. He's like he was crafty about it, but it. But I also feel like if it's in here, it's gonna be right in front of my face. They're one of the three species of rock monitors from Africa, and are the largest species of the three species of rock oh, wait, monitor. Wait, I got something. Woo, buddy, look at that. I got me some buffalo wild wings. Hey, I haven't been there in a long time. Hey, me and Jessica got some big money. Congratulations, Bruce. You were the first one to get the gift card. I feel like it does one final jeopardy, man. This is sweet. Remember, guys, stick around till the end of the video because Mike may not be feeling good today, but he's not going to be feeling good tomorrow. When I hide this gift card, I've got the perfect spot for it. You know Jay's going to be ordering DoorDash, so I tell you what, each of you guys pick an animal, and if you can get the DoorDash driver to hold your animal, I will tell you the cage that a gift card's in. Which animal do you want? Potato. Marshmallow. Tarantula? Okay, let's see what happens. Ambilobi chameleon. It's ambilombe. Ambilombe. To my knowledge, they're the only rainbow colored chameleon. That's a stretch. Uh, they're from Madagascar. Ding. They're a chameleon, which means their eyes can rotate a full 180 degrees. That's true. And they have active camouflage, which lets them blend into their environment. Mm, that's actually not true. But it's kind of true. But it's not. They have guanine crystals, which change colors, which act as a camouflage. I'll give you that one. It's like science class Bruh. in here. Look, Look at this dude. dude. Oh man, I don't see anything in here. Dang it. This is a money tree. Each locality has a different color male. Should have been a gift card tree. Now, females typically look about the same no matter where they're from. And they stay a little bit Dang smaller. Dang it, Steve. My sleeves is wet. My balls are hot. There ain't nothing in Called here. sexual dimorphism. Hey, how's it going? All good. You know, just working super hard today. We have so much where going on. Where are the gift cards? I cannot find the gift cards. What gift cards? What are you talking about? Uh, I gotta go. It's really a busy day. Love you. See you later. Bye. Hi. I chose Nova. They're uh, from Indonesia. They have the ability to uh, make themselves look larger with their fill. They are primarily an arboreal species, often found in trees, but sometimes even found, found on rock faces. It's three. It's three. Right. Do it. I definitely think the first spot should be checked out right here. Frill dragons are really interesting lizards from Indonesia, New Guinea, and can even come from Australia. Oh, come on, man. Seriously? <laughs> I didn't really want to crawl in this, man. I really didn't want to go doing all that. <sighs> Ow. You gotta be kidding me. Got here for nothing. All right, I, I gotta get out of here. All right, I'm gonna do Bella. Fact number one, she's a rhinoceros iguana. Fact number two, she's really cute. Fact number three, she loves to be pet. Are those really facts? Those are, they sound like the facts I used last time. Give me one you, other good fact. You got away with it. I'm the boss, I can do that. She loves bananas. Get in there. Bella, I know you gotta have a gift card in here. Why wouldn't you put one in here? You're his favorite animal. I think he likes you. More than like me. Rhino iguanas are an endangered species of iguana that are endemic to the islands of Hispaniola, which are Haiti and the give card, give card. Dominica Republic. There's only about 10 to 15,000 of these animals left in the wild. Thankfully, these animals are being. If I was a gift card, where would I be? In Jay's pocket. Bred readily in captivity, which will eventually save the species from the deforestation and logging that's happening on the islands that they're from. My DoorDash is here. Somebody say DoorDash. Hey, you? Come on in. We have a little challenge for you. These guys are trying to see if you will hold their animal for them. Oh my god, I'm not holding that one. Okay, okay. which one will you hold? This is a potato. And this is marshmallow. Oh my god. He's a blue tongue skin from Australia. There's only a few in America. I like marshmallow. Yeah. What? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put marshmallow right around your neck. There you go. Bing, bing, bing. Uh, you're cool. bling, bling, bling. Oh, you'll get them next time, potato. Since you won, the card is in Perdita's enclosure. So I still gotta find it? You have to find it. Perdita is a cow reticulated python. It's a mutation of reticulated python. The thing that's interesting about cow reticulated python is they're born solid white, and then as they get older, they start to develop their pattern. I'm so sorry, baby. This is. It's just, I gotta eat dinner, you know? Gotta find some food. Tell me where it is, Perdita. I think he's lying. There can't be one in here. And throughout their entire life, they'll gain those black pieces of pigment, which is called melanin. Perdita, please just tell me where it is. I gotta be here somewhere. Hi, I love you so much. Oh my God. Finally, I get to eat dinner. Thank God. All right, guys, get over here. Whoever wins this quiz is actually gonna get a gift card to Reptile Army. Go to reptilearmy.com for your own merch. You guys ready for the quiz? Yeah. All right, All right. this animal is from Africa. It's an egg layer. Egg, white egg snake. Monitor. It is mainly herbivore. Tortoise, red foot tortoise. It can live 25 to 60 years. A leopard tortoise. It needs extreme heat or a basking spot up to 140 degrees. You're a mastic you lizard. You won the card. Yeah. I'm gonna choose the black-headed python. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Three facts, mister. Uh, fact number one, their head's black. In the winter, they need heat. You know, cold-blooded animals, if they don't have enough heat, they die. Fact check. Give them that one. They call them black-headed, but that's because their head's black. Fact check. Yeah, you just said that twice. Yeah, they're from Mozambique. Australia. They're from Australia. <laughs> Final fact, they're related to the Woma Python. All right. Go ahead. Now, if you were smart, you would have put them under the snake. So that's going to be the first place I check. All right, snakeys. Snakey, snakey. Don't do that. Don't be doing your little dance. Hey, I'm just searching for a gift card, OK? And these guys strike? Black-headed pythons are one of two species in the genus of Aspidites. These are Aspidites melanocephalus, and they come from the western part of Australia. Why are you snipping? God, this is, this is heart-wrenching. Here we go. I can't even tell which one is which. Uh -huh. They can exceed 9 and 10 foot in length. Oh, I, I found it. Oh, I got a bass roach. I didn't think you would be there. Oh. Bill, it's a six-man armadillo. I'd like to phone a friend. Yeah, is this Brian Bartek? Yeah, this is Brian. I'm on a show right now, and I got to answer. I need two armadillo facts. So, from South America? They're from South America. I need one more. Uh, they're related to sloths. And they're closely related to sloths. All right, thanks, Brian. Got to go. Ow! Stop. <laughs> Ow, stop it! Oh my god. Brillo just helped me find the gift card. Leave the camera alone. Jay, he's literally eating the camera. Brillo is a six-banded armadillo. There's actually three banded, six banded, and nine banded armadillos. The six bandits are actually from South America. They're also the largest of those three species. Although they'll forage for bugs in the wild, they primarily will eat fruits and vegetables. Brillo, is there a gift card in here? You put one in here, bro. Probably would have already ate it if you did, huh? In captivity, we feed them mainly veggies, but we do supplement them with a zoo diet as well. Bro, did you eat the gift card already? There's not a gift card in here. I choose Irwin. First fact, a blue tongue skink is called a blue tongue skink because it has a blue tongue. And they have a blue tongue because bright colors like blue typically are poisonous. And since they have such short stubby legs, they can't get away from their predators. So they have to <laughs> and scare their predators away. So they have the shortest legs in the entire animal kingdom. Not true. They're Australian, and Steve Irwin is th actually the founder of the Blue Tongue Skin. Not true. Shh, Nikes. They're vegan. <laughs> no. Dang it. They're not very good at being in the wild. <laughs> Fun fact, they have live babies. That's true, go ahead, search the cage. All right, Irwin. Blue tongue skinks can come from New Guinea, Australia, and Indonesia. Irwin is actually a northern blue tongue skink that comes from the Queensland area of Australia. Very easy lizards to take care of in captivity, hence why they make such great pets. You don't have a gift card, do you, Erwin? Maybe it's under his tongue. Nah, nothing under there. American alligator. They're from America. They can live about 50 years, and they get like 15 feet long. E other than they're from America. <laughs> <laughs> they're freaking carnivores. It's true. They live 60 years. Give or take. They get 20 feet long. Nope. Less? Less. 15 wasn't right? Man, I was so accurate about that. 14 feet. I'll give you it. Go ahead, search. <laughs> I think it should be pretty easy to know if anything's in here. That's why I picked this thing. Uh-uh. Nope, guys, we're friends. We are Woo! friends. No thing. Okay. Okay, let me look under you. American alligators have this interesting goggle type of eye. It's called a nictating membrane. It's actually like a clear level eyelid, a second eyelid that actually closes so they can see underwater. Things won't get into their eyes. There's no gift card in here. I was kind of hoping the one to Red Lobster was going to be in here. So the boys are definitely having a hard time finding the last one. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys answer a question. Whoever answers this question correctly, I'm going to tell what enclosure the last gift card is in. You guys ready? What was the first snake that I I ever bred. Burmese python. python. Reticulated python. Ball python. Corn snake. Corn snake. <laughs> is that where it is? is it it's in the prehensile tail skin cage. I don't even want to get that. Noah, you didn't even get the question right. Where are you going? I won this gift card. I really want to take my answer back because I'm so scared of these guys and I can't even find them. No, Fred, Wilma, gift card. Thank you. Where are they? My hair is too big. Yes. That's how you win the money, baby. Since you guys have been so good at finding things today, and I know that you guys are charitable, this happens to be one of my favorite little pieces I got from Gatorland. It says, bite me. Whoever can get that out, I'll donate $100 to US Art in your name. Get out of here. Go over there. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Quit your biting. Yeah, man, stick your hand right no, there. You stick your hand right there. I'm not doing that. 
I'm just kidding. Noah, get her back inside. Thank you, girl. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Hell no. Grieve it. Grieve it. Grieve it. Grieve it. I got him distracted. Right here. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. I can't even reach, dude. She's going to bite me. I've Noah, seen this we, on the ball. It have to be a teamwork effort. Get it, Noah. She's going to bite me. I don't even know where Pepper's head is. Noah, come on. Stop over moving it, it. Noah. Stop moving it. Ching! Ring, ring, ring. Okay, USR gets $100 in Noah's name. <laughs> so Mike is back after being mm -hmm. sick. Welcome back, Mike. <clears throat> I have a feeling what he's about to see is gonna make him sick again. We all know you like ice cream, right? Yeah. We're about to find out how much. Oh my God. It's very simple. Wait, I gotta think this through. I really don't want to do it. $15, it's basically two cones. That's it? <laughs> <laughs> No that's not fair. That wasn't so hard, was it? Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.